Shaver 1000 here and we're back with another stir fry ramen to try out from Bodak artificially spicy chicken flavor ramen this one is cheese okay so there's what it looks like and we're just going to go ahead and get into getting this cooked up um, I'll show you the nutrition facts on here while oh, you guys like to read that so I can get that up there for you okay if you want to pause it you can read it okay this one is similar to the other ones you just uh, put noodles into 20 ounces of boiling water and cook for five minutes okay so 20 ounces is um, that 20 ounces is two and a half cups okay so then after that you remove the water except for eight tablespoons and put liquid sauce into noodles and stir fry for 30 seconds put cheese powder put cheese powder and stir well and serve so that's what we're going to do I've done it a couple times in the past of stir frying and uh, so I'm not I'm not going to show you that I'm just going to uh, go ahead and boil this up and get it ready and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done okay guys so we got the stir fried up like I said I just boiled it for five minutes and I put the red sauce in with the uh, <clears throat> it turned it out to be the eight tablespoons turns out to be right around a two ounces quarter cup right in there and uh, I took them out of the boiling water and then I put the water and the sauce in and stir fried it now we're going to add the powder which is this must be some kind of cheese sauce powder it's got some spices in it herbs in it so I'm guessing without the uh, I'm guessing with the, the, the red sauce is what really gives it the spice the, the super spice and the heat I am guessing that if you just did without that you could probably just use the, the sauce or this uh, the cheese powder in it and probably be something similar to a macaroni and cheese type dish but feeling festive today guys so get this stirred up I know I'm getting some around the rim. I know I'm not Gordon Ramsay. You know I used to watch Gordon Ramsay a lot until I got to thinking. Man, the more I watched him, like you know when he'd go in and try to save the restaurants and stuff, but like he would get called to you know these little pubs. Okay, I'll turn you get you up here now. Alright, so he would get called to like these pubs, and we all know a pub is just a bar that serves some food. <coughs> His whole thing about a restaurant and food is fine dining. He'd go into a pub and he'd show them these new recipes and like, you know, here's the curry. It was always curry, curry, curry. What do you need curry in a bar for? You know what I mean? And, and you know, the cheeseburgers wasn't right. You got to do this and that and make them look all fancy and plate it up all night. It's a pub, okay? It's a pub, Ramsey. It's a bar. People don't care what the food look like. They really don't care what it tastes like, you know? I mean, it's... Or he... Remember, he'd go to them soul food restaurants. He tried to make everything fine dining. A soul food restaurant's not fine dining, you know. And, uh, it just, you know, the guy wasn't perfect by any means. Okay, let's give this a shot. You know, I mean, I'm a great mechanic, but 
Uh, I do know some body work, but like I, I would never be able to open my own shop, so it'd be like me as a mechanic trying to guide a body shop on how to do things and what to do. It's totally different, you know. I mean, so is so is the culinary arts. I mean. You know, you got your fine dining, you got your fast food, you got your pubs. It's, it's all different, you know what I mean? You, you don't want to go into a pub or a soul food restaurant and try to teach them about fine dining. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, <laughs> my little rant. So, feeling festive. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a shot. <laughs> okay. This is actually, this one is more heat than spice. It says spicy, but this is hot. Um, it tastes similar to the other ones, but it's a lot hotter than the other ones were. Whew. A lot hotter. But I can taste the cheese flavor. It's very good. The texture, again, on all these, the texture has been fine. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Way spicy. I'm going to give it a five on the spicy. I'm going to give it a four and a half on the flavor. Two thumbs up. But all together, flavor and everything put together, you know, let's just give it a four and a half. I really like it. It is a lot hotter than, than what it should be for being in the yellow pack. I mean, that red stuff, like I said, I think it's the same sauce that comes in some of the other ones. But uh, it just tastes really, really spicy today. I do like it. If you like spice, you will love this. I do like this one. So, so far, I've liked them all. Um, my favorite. I'm not sure if it'd be this one or the last one. I think it might have been the last one. We still have one more to do. <laughs> Make them eyes water. So, I'm going to do that with Monkey probably tomorrow. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow evening. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying the live stream of the lights. We'll have them again tonight, which is Wednesday. Yeah, we'll have them again tomorrow and Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve, we're just we're gonna let them run all night long. So that should be fun. I think monkeys want to camp out, so <laughs> that'd be kind of cool to set up the tent out there. And I don't know, we'll see. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, two thumbs up. I'll give it a four and a half overall out of five. So, yeah, very, very spicy. If you don't like heat or spice, this is not for you. But if you absolutely love it, this is absolutely for you. Okay? All right, guys, so hopefully everyone has a Merry Christmas and tune in for more videos. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. We're gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.